what goodies you have there today, Nick? Yeah, well, th uh, thanks for, for noticing that, Nigel. <laughs> I um, was doing a project the other day, and, and uh, this is a fascinating form yeah. factor that I, yeah. that, I, that I thought I'd share. Sure. So, as you know, I'm a microbiologist. I do know that. <laughs> and uh, we're always trying to get samples of, of yeah. things, and so we're doing, you know, swabs yeah. and that sort of, mm -hmm. sort of work. And one of the challenges that I've often had is when we do anaerobic bacteria. Right, which means bacteria that survive in a non-oxygen environment, is that right? Non-oxygen environment. So, of course, you and I are breathing right now, which is great. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. And uh, so it's good for us. Bad for facultative anaerobic, uh, or pardon me, obligative anaerobic oh, of course. I was about to correct you, yeah. but. <laughs> uh, and so if, if you're obligate anaerobic, right. as the name implies, as opposed to facultative, facultative you can use both, uh, you, you really cannot have oxygen. It's, right. it's lethal to you. I see. And so if I'm interested in sampling a, uh, an anaerobic bacteria that is yeah. obligate, I really need to make sure I get all the air out. And I was having trouble doing that until I found these awesome, this awesome product from Becton Dickinson, right? And it is—I've got one that's that's open here a little bit yeah. past its prime, so I'll show you because this is this is valuable. I'm still using this. One. <laughs> that's right. So it's really cool. So it's got your your standard, you know, swab that swab, you that okay, recommend. Yeah. So you, you can go and get your sample of where you think the, yeah. the anaerobic bacteria are here. And right. because this one's used, I can actually show you how this thing works. This is really cool. Okay. And so and of course has all the other stuff you'd have with a normal sample. You yeah. can write down your write date, down, and yeah. initial, and all the rest yeah. of that stuff. Take your sample and you put it in this container, mm -hmm. and it's a two-stage uh, device where right. I push this thing down, it's gonna seal in this little glass vial. I don't know if okay. you can see that there. Yeah, and there's, there's a mini vial inside. There's a mini vial inside, and then there's this little pouch at the bottom this has a little uh, catalyst this is an anaerobic uh, environment you can see the the, the water there it's because there's a, a catalytic environment right. and byproduct water so of course you'll see that and you know it's still kind of working and I've taken my sample I'm gonna put this thing in and oh, this is an old one ah, click it goes in it's now sealed I can't uh -huh. open that up anymore yeah and it, you can see there's a color change happening right. that's it activates it, the pouch that's well it's that's an indicator that shows that there's oxygen came in there as right. as as one would imagine. Yeah. There's an indicator that shows, hey, some yeah. oxygen got in there and right. now the, the catalyst is going to scrub all that oxygen, right. turn it into water, and make this right. an anaerobic environment. Yeah, that's super cool. Isn't that great? Yeah. And that Simple and effective. Simple and effective. And would you do that inside of like a fume hood or, or an anaerobic environment? Well, or? that's the beauty of this, right? I can I could do a sample right here, right. take that right. sample, and then we can see if right. it's anaerobic. Just very brief exposure. Hope the, hope they make it. Hope they make it. Yeah. But anyway, it's very super cool. cool. I saw it just the other day, yeah. and I couldn't wait to share yeah, it with nice. you. Yeah, nice. Nothing better than finding the right tool for the job. Oh, man. I yeah. love it. Great. Thanks, Nick. Hey.